are you, are you gonna eat those Twix during recording? <laughs> no, maybe. Oh, that's funny. It's none of your business. That's funny. Hello. Hey. Welcome, welcome to the first episode of uh, Whining. Um, I'm Josh, and uh, I'm one of your co-hosts. I'm uh, I'm Paul, and I'm gonna introduce myself while PJ eats uh, some of his Twix, apparently. Yeah. Uh, anyways, I'm I'm Paul, another co-host here of Whining. I'm PJ. I'm eating a Twix bar. Yeah. How I is get, it? I well, I haven't eaten it yet. I was opening it. Now, how was the how Paul was, was opening it? How was the experience of opening it? It was all right. You know, I got this earlier because I was just making a pun, and I didn't want somebody to think I was stealing it. I put it in my sleeve, and I said, "I got a few Twix up my sleeve," <laughs> and nobody laughed. Um. I mean, you did just say it to just me. It's not like you were on stage. Yeah, why didn't you laugh? I gave you a blow out my nose. Yeah, not just worth a hefty. it. Hefty. So I bought it because I didn't want people to think I stole it, and also I didn't want to go put it back, even though we were only like ten feet away from where it came. It's totally okay to just want a Twix too. I want. I mean, Twix I, are th- good. Twix are good. I like Twix. I'm not knocking Twix. I'm just saying that's why I got it. He's shaking his head and mouthing, I hate Twix right now, just so you guys all know. He absolutely hates Twix. I have it tattooed on my chest. That's also a lie. (laughs) Uh, Anyway, so welcome to the first episode of Whining, where each episode we'll try a different bottle of wine. Maybe a box. And uh, yeah, we'll just talk about the wine, and we'll talk about whatever the hell we want to talk about. That's pretty much it. It's not... Nothing too fancy. Nothing. Or we'll whine about something. We'll also whine about stuff. I don't know. It's in the title. Yeah. I know nothing about wine. I don't even like wine particularly. Wine's all right. <laughs> what are we drinking today? Paul, what are we drinking today? Uh, well, I guess Tonight. is our, our wine expert, which nobody's ever called me before, because uh, I'm not. We've got a uh, winemaker selection. It's Liberty Creek and uh, Cabernet Sauvignon. From California, you can tell that it's really good because it doesn't even Napa Valley, California, maybe, but you can tell it's good because it doesn't actually even say the year. Oh, ooh, so unlisted, brand new, yeah, (laughs) twelve. That's that's what you want in a wine, yeah, a baby wine, as we call them in the business. It's a twelve percent alcohol, and it was only seven dollars and ninety nine cents at Orange Street Food Farm. Here in Zoo, Montana. What a deal. Can you believe it? Yeah. How many ounces is that? That's a lot. Uh, it's a big bottle. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not entirely sure. It, it doesn't. Is it not on the front? No. The front label? No. No I mean, year. No volume content. What a quality. It looks wine. about like uh, one and a half liters. I would say that would make. This sense. is like you know those food menus. Oh, where... he's right. I saw it. One and a half liters. Oh, oh, damn! So called it. It's like one of those. Uh, you know those menus that like fancy restaurants where they don't tell you the price because they Cause just pay it anyway because yeah. otherwise you would leave yeah if you're one of us oh yeah no it's <laughs> like oh i can't i don't know how much it is i'm just gonna take my money elsewhere i probably wouldn't leave i would just like look for the cheapest thing be like oh god oh god and then it would still be like eight dollars and not worth it but eight. you'd still get it because you kind of want to i mean i would get it because i don't want to just awkwardly leave because i would feel super awkward doing that like that is not something i would do I I would I would totally like open up a restaurant that had that same kind of like no no prices on the menu but everything is really just like two dollars normal price yeah no like yeah. below well, normal price like we're losing money suit, this is a yeah. novelty <laughs> restaurant it's only going to be around for three months and after that uh, more of an art project really yeah yeah when you say novelty restaurant I picture you putting like instead of like regular chicken you use like a rubber chicken <laughs> <laughs> and like chattering teeth come out on plates. If there's oh, ever a birthday cake, they're firecrackers on top. Yeah. <laughs> you have to end every meal with an exploding cigar. <laughs> That'd be great. Oh, that's pretty funny. The wine has, like, dye in it, and it stains your teeth. <laughs> it already does that, but... It stains them blue, though, like a funky color. <laughs> a funky like, color. Like when you eat those blue Laffy Taffy, and then your tongue turns blue. Ick. And then your mom asks you, why is your tongue blue? And then you don't have an answer, because you're not supposed to eat candy. I my parents didn't care if I ate candy. Yeah, mine didn't either. Mine, uh, well, it was just the one incident where I was like, uh, I don't want <laughs> I to eat don't candy. Know. You just came back from the dentist, but my friend gave oh. me candy, and I wanted to eat that candy. So wait, like you were explain the situation. Let me to get me. that candy. Like, you went to the dentist, then you went to a friend's house, 
and then your friend. Well, no, I went. I went laughing taffy on you. Pretend I'm your father. I don't want to do that. That's weird. Be, you got I'll it. be your mother. Team pl- team player, and scene. Okay. Start scene. Start. I'm Josh's mom. Hey, why is your tongue blue? Oh wait, I'm supposed to ask that. I'm the mom. Oh, hey, I'm reading the newspaper. You're probably making art out in the garage. Not garage. It's a studio. It's a, yeah, shop. Shop. Studio. He's, I'm thing. reading the newspaper in in my studio. Okay. Hey, why is your tongue blue, Josh? Uh, Joshua. Because I. Uh, you had candy. Uh, stomp! 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 I just took. Hey, I'm oh. sure ready to be <laughs> here. Be your dad. <laughs> What's going on? <laughs> well, I won't tell the kids. Nothing. Nothing's going on. Okay, gonna go read my newspaper. Sounds good. Bye, Bye. Why is my what? Ow! <laughs> All right, and we're back. Did that pick up? Yeah. Okay. Yeah, it's okay. it's not super loud, but all right, it picks up. I don't know oh, it's happening happened. again. All right, and we're back. That was weird. What a, yeah. what a weird thing to happen. Oh, I don't have any idea what happened. You guys just said... Oh, yeah, you don't have headphones on. Yeah, I have no idea what, what yeah, you're hearing on. or not. Oh, there's a lot of crackling going on. Oh, yeah, that was just me eating Twix into the <laughs> microphone. <laughs> Twix is a really soft, pleasant crunch. <laughs> <laughs> I kind of enjoy listening to you eat that. <laughs> Twix I hope also our has listeners a soft, do pleasant as well. taste. Man, what if we got sponsored by Twix? I would love to be sponsored by Twix. And whatever the shitty wine is. I mean, this delicious wine is. Hey, this is I like this wine. What do you guys think? Let's talk about the wine. Oh. Um It's not bad. It's not my favorite wine. My favorite wine is still that dog wine. I don't know what it's called, but it just has a dog on the label. Is this is wine for dogs. <laughs> hey, for dogs <laughs> for dog people, wine. it gets me drunk either way. Wine for dogs, by dogs. Um I, it to me, I'm also eating Twix. Oh, how do it, they pair? Oh, not well. <laughs> really, not well. Um, Is I'd, there anything you can think of that it would pair well with? The Twix or the wine? Well, either. Oh, um. Well, I th- Twix chocolate pairs well with anything, in my opinion, depending on when you eat it, except for like juice or pretty much anything to drink, unless you're drinking water or chocolate milk with chocolate. It's not good. If, have you ever, like, taken a bite of a chocolate and then eaten soda? Uh-uh. Uh, yeah, this I... is also pretty gross <laughs> with the wine, which it's like, I don't know if this is a dessert wine. Well, I highly doubt it. You're <laughs> dipping your Twix into there and then soaking you're it just around. Just stirring it around and just, like, making a... Well, yeah, it's like... Slurping it out. It's like how Homer Simpson dips his donuts in his coffee. I mean, I, I think more than just Homer does that. Yeah, but... Actually, I've never... Dunk. I've never seen somebody do that. I've never seen person. someone do that. I've never done it myself. I'm thinking that might just be a TV thing. I kind of want to try it now. I've never done it. I don't like coffee. What we're learning is I don't like drinks. <laughs> <laughs> I don't well, like you... drinks with sweet things. Oh, you like Diet Pepsi. I do like Diet Pepsi. You know, Ray Charles was on their uh, commercials in the 90s. Yeah, I thought you were going to say Ray Charles likes Diet Pepsi. I was like, how would you know? Oh, he does. Does he? I mean, he's dead, but... Well, how would you know then? I pour some out on his grave every once in a while. Oh, really? Mm-hmm. And sing boys to men, Memphis, Tennessee. Wow, what a trip! Mm-hmm. It's got to be expensive. You'd be surprised. Oh, okay. Anyway, back to this wine. Uh, oh, I got crumbs in it. Um, <laughs> well, of course, you got to quit dipping update. your Twix. I'm drinking it out of a champagne flute, and also, um, yeah, I don't, I don't really like wine. So this just tastes like pretty generic wine to me, like. Wine that I will drink if somebody's offering it to me. However, I will not. No, that's not true. I bought a big jug of wine one time. That Carlo Rossi big jug. Was I, that a wine or was that? Uh, was it? Okay. Yeah. What do you think it was? Uh, I thought it was champagne. Oh, no. I love champagne, though. Um, no, I bought it exclusively so I could put change in it after I was done drinking all the wine out of it. <laughs> it was white wine, too. I don't really like white wine at all. Red wine. I like red wines, but I like those ones that just are really sweet and taste like juice. 
but I don't know what any of them are called, so I don't buy wine. You might like a rosé. That's what rappers drink. Is it? I wouldn't know. I think so. I might. <laughs> I don't know. Mm. Yeah, rosé definitely does taste like juice. It does. Maybe I'll go buy some rosés. Rose. That I, we could do that on our next next cast. We'll do a rosé. Yeah. Cool. That could be cool. This yeah. is a this is a cab sauve, as we call it in the wine business, Cabernet Sauvignon. At some point, we should watch the movie sideways so we learn like pick up a little bit of wine lingo. I think it's funnier if we just don't know what we're talking about. Well, yeah, we won't know what we're talking. We don't know what any of it means. We'll just use it <laughs> incorrectly, probably. Mm-mm. Like I said, something about Napa earlier. The auto parts store. Napa no how Napa Napa no how. That one. Yeah, that one. The one and only. I prefer the AutoZone theme. Get in zone, AutoZone. Just real quick. I like O'Reilly. Oh. Oh, oh, O'Reilly. Oh, Auto no. parts. O'Reilly oh. is the best one. Yeah. You don't forget, you got to have the little oh. at the yeah, end. You're right. But yeah. Um, so that's my opinion on this wine. It tastes like wine. Yeah, I really can't tell the difference between the taste in most wine. See, I can tell the difference, but this, to me, is just like when people buy wine. So pretty and much, may- pa- well, pretty maybe much when it's Paul because, buys wine. Maybe it's because I haven't drank enough variety of wine to know because i drank enough different kinds of beer where i know you can tell i can tell the difference between different kinds of beer but wine is just something different i don't get it i think it's only because i ever have wine when paul buys it and i think he buys like i usually buy this kind of wine yeah specifically because it's so cheap so just yeah it kind of tastes like what like what wine tastes like i love church wine too port which is what we use at the Episcopal Church. Mm, that stuff is great. I love port. Hey, wait, is port a kind of wine? Yeah. Can you just get it at the store? Is it like special? Like It, it has a high to... enough alcohol content, so you have to buy it at a liquor store. So oh, really? It, yeah, it's made in Portugal. Oh, man. Of course, those churchy folks would Episcopal. get that kind of wine. I mean, mm-hmm. Episcopals are, Episcopalians are known for being drunks. So. Ooh, that's the best kind of christian it's a denomination one. what denomination sure that what you're i don't for? know I, was, I don't know what word i was looking for i was done with these twicks so you'll stop here chewing into the microphone yeah i'm gonna well i don't know it's done now yeah yeah what was it how would you rate it out of 10 how was that twix twix used to be my favorite candy bar Twix used to be my favorite candy bar it, mine too it still might be twix is really good i like a snickers too which is similar, but with peanuts. I've liked Snickers a little bit less over the years. I've started liking it more. Really? Yeah. I I really like Whatchamacallit. Do you guys know Whatchamacallit? I feel like that's old people candy. and I It don't kind of is that. old people candy. My dad would always get it from the store whenever we rented a movie. And it's oh, it's really good. <gasps> I have something. So, somebody told me that they actually loved Boston Baked Beans the other day. No. Yeah, really? They Who? Just, no. They well, had... We should we should go over what Boston baked beans are in case a listener doesn't know. Go for it, Paul. They're so, terrible is what they are. You know peanuts. <laughs> <laughs> you know and love them. You know the yeah. one and the same. You know peanuts. Well, have you ever thought, I wish these were harder to eat? <laughs> <laughs> well, if that's you, good luck. I mean, yeah, because we found. Well, I, mean, I shouldn't. I shouldn't. I shouldn't say. We shouldn't say. We can say that we found the world. These candy coated peanuts, and they're absolutely disgusting. Not candy like it's not chocolate candy. It's no, like no, no. candy coated like like. But it's not even good candy. It's a like sugar chalet. It it's just sugar. Yeah. So it doesn't taste like anything. Yeah, but I feel like they cooked it for way too long or something too. So it's extra hard to bite into. It's just awful. And then when you get to the inside, it's a peanut. It's a you peanut. Get, you <laughs> get a peanut. <laughs> <laughs> it's like hardly worth it. Just buy a sack of peanuts. Oh, like what? circus peanuts? I hate circus peanuts. You said it like you were really excited about them, and then you hated them. Yes. Circus peanuts? I hate those. I hate Fuck them. the circus peanuts. They I hate killed my things. parents. Um, no, I, I've i never had them, but I saw my nephew eat some one time, and they look fucking gross. They are gross, and I can't believe that like stores sell them, and people buy them. People buy Boston Baked Beans, too. Well... Like right, I said, yeah, so continue the your story d- about so plastic big beans. There were like we were in the candy aisle because I was like, I want some candy because I like candy, and so like I bought some candy, and then the person I was with came up and like looked at a thing, and I think it was like chocolate covered peanuts, and then she just went, oh, 
I thought those were Boston beans. I was like, wait a second. Boston baked beans? She's like, yeah, I love them. I was like, no, you're fucking with me. You've just heard me talk about how terrible they are, right? She's like, no, I actually love them. I, I like, didn't believe her for a while, but I think she actually, she was, she grew up kind of weird, like, like a little bit sheltered. So I feel like that's why she likes them. <laughs> they told her, her this is what candy her, that was like. That was a Christmas gift, not probably. Quite like candy. a box of Boston yeah. baked beans. And she never got any other candy, ever. <laughs> Apparently, yeah. Uh, for a while, my favorite candy were those peach rings. Those are really good. Those are the best. They are. They Artificial are. peaches. They, they are so good. Flavor. And I would, I, would, I would eat them in two different ways. I would either like rip them apart, because they were usually divided into like an orange bit, or like an orange half and a yellow half. Mm-hmm. And I would want to eat each half separately to taste the different flavors on their own. Ooh. Or I would uh, just grab one and then uh, put it in my mouth and keep sucking on it until the sugar f- came off of it. <laughs> and it's just a weird slimy gummy <laughs> ring. And I was like, this is fun. <laughs> that's, oh, that's really gross. <laughs> and uh, that's how I love to eat my peach rings. Uh. <laughs> I, I think really, that's... What? Sorry, go ahead. Um, do you think that's how, like... Like some kid discovered like cock rings. <laughs> like, <laughs> That's how he Eating made. He, he ate a peach ring and made it all slimy, and then one thing I led to put another. This my penis. I mean, you're a kid. You're like ten years old. That's definitely what's gonna happen. If you're twelve, you definitely were gonna do that. Aren't cock rings like just? I don't. I've never had a cock ring. I honestly haven't either. No, I mean neither. I, it's not an embarrassing thing. You don't have to say honestly. Like honestly, I've never, never had a cock ring. But like. I mean, to put a peach ring around my dick, sure. <laughs> and sucked it right thing, off. Yeah. Are they gummy? Peach rings? No, I know peach rings are. are oh, cock uh, rings? Yeah. I thought they were metal. I did, too. I, I was under like, the impression they were metal. No, but I mean, like, I know I know, I know, that they're not gummy, but, like, I think that could Can be an introduction. You know? You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. Like, it gets you on that road. To just putting shit around your wiener? I mean, it's, it's like a, it's like marijuana, of course. Where it's a gateway s- toy. It's, yeah, yes. gateway candy, really. Yeah, it's like those candy underpants, but <laughs> grosser somehow. <laughs> I'm wearing candy underpants right now. You got a problem with that? Is it just so you have a snack when you go to bed? No, I I wash them. <laughs> is that what's always in our washing machine? Yeah, that's why our washing machine is always full of candy powder. <laughs> <laughs> but it's kind of a weird slush because you know it got wet, so I have to remake it every time. What? I honestly don't know what uh, like candy underpants look like. Are they like the candy necklaces, or are they like gummy? We'll look this up, too. Yeah, I I've got say, cock got... rings up on uh, Amazon right now. Oh, about... how much are they? Uh, really cheap. Like, this one's like $4. Really? Is it Prime eligible? Yeah. Damn. I don't... What do they do? I think... I know some of them vibrate. <laughs> yeah, some of them vibrate. I think the point of it is that these ones it, do not vibrate. There's no way. Okay, well, I think it's the point of it big rubber circle. I think the point of it is that it constricts your penis so that it stays hard longer. Oh, I don't want that because it just traps all the blood Ooh. up there. Ew. This one, uh, this I, one like separates your your balls from your not balls, your dick. <laughs> um, like I don't know. I was it, so I tiptoed around that. <laughs> um. It like it, a, it calls it a holster, a holster. Yeah, so it, like, oh, I don't like that. Yeah, this is creepy. A ball holster. So I think they can be g- not gummy, but like uh, silicone, and I think they can be metal. <laughs> Ugh, this one's made out of hair. What? Look at it. It's disgusting. Oh my god. Oh, it's made out of sheep eye. What? What? Wait, sheep eye. Sheep eye. Five piece natural sheep eye socks socket sexy male penis ring delay <laughs> sex products. Nothing sexier Wait, than a sheep how eye. How much is it? Uh, well, five for six eighty three. <laughs> wait. <laughs> wait, 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 wait. A pack of five. A pack of five for six. I mean, I guess I wouldn't want to use it more than once. It's that's, a sheep eye. That's cheaper than like sheepskin condoms. Uh, 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 ew, they're all so gross. I just a picture of all five of them like together just in a pile. Disgusting. Oh, that's kind of gross. Yeah, it looks like fucking. Are they prime the eligible? Lambs. No. <laughs> Thank God. Not worth it. No. And then, I don't buy anything unless it's Prime eligible. I will like spend up to twenty more dollars just to get Prime shipping. Don't you like <laughs> the gross noise? <laughs> <laughs> don't you like lose like fifteen dollars because shipping is like four bucks? Yeah, but I get it in two days. Oh, that's, I, I that's see. the big thing. It's not. It's it's rarely that it's free. It's because I get it in two days. That's for me. That's why I like Amazon Prime. 
I hope they sponsor us. I'm trying to find um, edible underpants. It's real hard. I think I'm really? in the part where it. I think you have to go to a certain part to like make it not dirty or like make stuff dirty again because it like hides it from kids. Are you are you searching like what category are you in? Are you in like food? Or are all. You in, all okay. I wonder what it would be in though. Would it be in food or would it be in like clothing? It'd probably be in uh, what is it called? Um, novelty. Oh. Yeah. I could, yeah, I could see that. I'll check the clothing, shoes, and TV. Nope. That's Wait, clothing, together? shoes, oh, sorry, and TV? No, I read that together. It's closing, clothing, shoes, and jewelry, and then movies and TV. Okay. Oh, oh, I see. Yeah. Um, I'll just Google image this shit. Sorry, we got to find out about these edible underpants. Underpants. There we go. You could also search edible knickers. Maybe that'll give you more results. Oh, yeah. Ooh, that sounded uh, <laughs> remarkably like another word. Ooh. I didn't expect a man to be wearing them. That was really confusing. Oh, for some reason, I only can imagine men wearing. I don't. I don't really? imagine women wearing. I'm thinking like, like panties, candy underpants. But this is uh, it's a man in a g-string wearing like the candy necklace with the little gross like like Smarties beads. Mm. Um, okay, but they're not Smarties though. No, I've they're eaten the candy necklace, and they are not Smarties. No, the Smarties are good. Smarties are better. Yeah, whatever that is is not. Anything no, it's like it, putting it. Well, it's like if you mix Smarties with whatever shellac is on the outside of Boston baked beans. It might just be Boston baked beans <laughs> without the bean part. Oh man, they should make a should Wait. make candy Boston baked or necklace Boston baked beans. Do you mean peanuts? What I meant to say peanut, not <laughs> oh, bean. Okay, okay. <laughs> so it's both because they also have gummy panties. Oh wait, 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 the whole thing is a gummy. Wait, like a one big gummy? It's not just individual gummies? One big gummy. Oh, <laughs> that got way more gross. Whoa, what? Yuck. Oh, my God. I was picturing... Wait, like, wait, what? But what kind of, like, gummy worm it's like, kind of gummy? No, no, it's like... Or like fruit... Like bu- a fruit roll-up like kind of gummy. Like a fruit roll-up, fruit by the foot. Oh, okay. Oh. I've seen a BuzzFeed video on that. It looked disgusting, and apparently it tastes like cough medicine. What if it was a like a bunch of Swedish fish for some reason? <laughs> just sewn really together. Sewn together, <laughs> sewn together yeah. with d- d- licorice rope? Yeah, well, I mean, I just think that... That'd be more appealing than whatever that is. I you don't can know. appeal it That's all. a lot of... <laughs> That's a lot of Swedish oh. fish. I'm going to put in the laugh track right there. Thank you. They also have this thing that came up. Um, it's called a willy warmer, and uh, it's shaped like cock and balls, and it's made out of sweater material. <laughs> oh, I've seen those. Yeah. It's a heater for your Peter. <laughs> <laughs> I want to get sponsored by them. The willy warmer. I'm sure they sell at least five a year, and we'll boost that to maybe no six. more. Yeah, maybe six, because <laughs> one, of, one us of us will buy, will buy it. it. <laughs> let's, let's be honest. Anybody who listens to this podcast probably has a cold dick. That was... Agreed. <laughs> that was just me agreeing. Sliding his wine glass all around. He, See, this is why I grabbed, I grabbed a coaster. This I is grabbed a, a nice, nice cloth coaster. A nice coaster. A nice cloth coaster. <laughs> can, you, can you use a coaster with a champagne flute full of wine? With yeah. With crumbs in it? If it prevents the sound from picking up, yes, you can. Yeah. Yeah, whatever. There's a white pearl eraser over here that i can use i kind of like the idea that you can hear us doing things with our wine glasses because it sounds you know you can tell it's a wine podcast yeah we should just do that every once in a while wait why we never we did we should have started this by clinking our glasses okay Cheers, we'll just everybody. put this at the beginning <laughs> yeah just edit that into the beginning yeah yeah <laughs> that, also maybe we shouldn't do that all over the like you know equipment nothing Which, fell i mean nothing did but it's fine all right, well, uh, that's just the one sound bite that we'll always use yeah we never we'll have to do it, do it again. One time, yeah. Oh, that's good. you know how we notoriously hate toasting. Wait, isn't this? This isn't live though. Live what? to like we're gonna. I mean, we're alive. <laughs> I'm gonna put in a laugh track right there too. Good, yeah. This will just be full of laugh tracks, and people will be like, "Wow, people in a studio audience think they're real funny." These guys hey, are great. What's up? I just like how. PJ and I sounded like grandparents, like listening to this podcast. <laughs> yeah. Well, that's because that's who's going to listen. My grandparents and no one else. Yeah, I don't think my grandma was listening. No, to this. My, my grandparents, grandparents are either. dead. So they won't be listening either. My, my dead grandparents would have. I could totally believe that, but not my current grandma. I, I don't my, blame her. No, I, my grandparents wouldn't at all. Mm-hmm. My mom would, and then, like, not really like it. 
but pret- like maybe pretend like she liked it or she would actually like it just because it's like me doing something you know you know what i mean yeah. she's always trying to get you to do things yeah exactly she's always not doing things that's me how it's could a- you how could you do that to your mother That's we love you, Mary. Thanks, Mary. My grandmother, my mother's name is Betty. So, a little bit awkward. Mary we, Betty. I was, I was sorry. I was starting a new thing. What were you guys talking about? I'm scratching my beard into the mic. Nothing. nothing. Oh, what? That reminds me. I meant to shave. Why didn't you? I, I, I was going to do it after. No, no, no. I was going to do it after I took a shower, but then I took a shower at the gym today, and it kind of threw me off. Well, why don't you just shave, shave in, in the, the steam room? <laughs> Guys, I don't know if you know this, but there are explicit signs that say members do not shave in the steam room. How big are What about signs? non-members? Can non-members <laughs> shave in the steam <laughs> room? Maybe just a case? one-off guest. As far as I know, non-members are allowed to shave in the steam room should they choose to. Hmm. Why? Who... Who was shaving what in the steam room? That's what I want to know. I want to know if like people were just going to town on their pubes or yeah, like, like if they're you, just shaving their face. Like what were you shaving? Because it's got to be your pubes, your beard, or your legs. It's going to be one of those that you're shaving. Well, I mean, what else is there really left? Not your ass. Know. Yeah, your ass. But I could have. They could have been shaving their ass. <laughs> I would have loved. <laughs> I would have staff member <laughs> walking <laughs> opening. Is it? I haven't been in there. Is it like dark in there? Yeah. It's yeah. So like it's dark in there, and like dark. a staff member opens the door slowly, and then it's just this <laughs> it's guy just a, squatting, just like yeah. it's a really a, ripped dude, like shaving his ass. Yeah, like squatting over a mirror, just like <laughs> gotta get in there. <laughs> <laughs> you gotta get it nice and smooth. You know, those strongmen are notorious about you know being ass shaved. Ass shaved. It reduces friction, so they can lift better and fuck better. <laughs> is that what you're gonna say? No, oh. no, lift better. Oh. I made my joke. Me too. I'm gonna put a laugh track in there too, <laughs> guys. I'm just gonna replace this whole podcast with just laugh tracks. Just, uh, uh, can you use the one specifically from Scooby Doo though? That makes no sense because it's a cartoon. Yeah, I can probably do that. Wait, no, there, there was real people watching them animate it. That's where it came from. <laughs> Live animation. <laughs> yeah. Oh, like that one episode of The Simpsons, or that end bit of The Simpsons, where it was live. You guys remember that? No. Where Homer Simpson was live? No, I didn't see that one. No, yeah, that was pretty cool. Was it any good? Uh, It was okay. It was more of just like, wow, cartoons can be live. That's crazy. The jokes weren't that great, but like people would call in um, and like talk to uh, Homer. They would just ask him a question, and they would have like preset uh, animations that they would just run. Um, while uh, Dan Cast- Castellaneta yeah, recorded yeah. Yeah. some of them? Well, no, while, while he was like talking to the person. Oh. So at the same right. time, they would like push buttons and then these frames would play to try and match up. Oh. It was really interesting. It's like playing a piano, but it's animation instead. Mm hmm. Just like that. Mm hmm. How well, well did it match up? Like, did, it, did his mouth match up? With- uh, I mean, you could tell that it was not matching up but it was it wasn't so bad where you would be thrown off by it huh that's pretty cool actually Mm -hmm. yeah i think they did it also for like three minutes so it was a long time of like having to improv this stuff both both uh the voice actor and the animation team that was like putting it all together it was really interesting Hmm. i mean they they did that with scooby-doo like i said so yeah well, that was different time. because back then they would actually have to draw everyone out. There was no like preset buttons. So oh, yeah. It was a lot harder. Everything was. And better. Are you sure? Yeah. Are you sure? 100%. One more example. Um, Kids. Kids were better. Today, all they do is sit around and play on their iPhones, listening to podcasts. And Herbie Hancock. Guilty yeah. as charged. Back when, when I was a kid... Well, we know what we did. What'd you do, Paul? We put do? peach rings around our cocks. <laughs> and it was... It just went about, just something someday. And then just yeah. went about town. Yeah. <laughs> and nobody was the wiser. Do people do that with cock rings? Just like wear them as... I'm ju- sure someone Jewelry? Does. Like around There's no town. way someone doesn't. Is I mean, it like a kinky thing? Or is there, are they just like... Hmm, if somebody sees my penis, it's going to be decked out. <laughs> you know, More like dicked out. I'm going to put a laugh track there. <laughs> Are these just editing notes? <laughs> yeah, yeah. I'm still going to keep me saying it. In oh, I figured, yeah. 
dead air is what you call it. Wow, you're so... Well, you could hear you two doing wine stuff, and I clinked mine down to be part of it. Oh. Maybe that's not a good idea. Maybe we shouldn't do that. I like the idea of pouring, though. Next time I pour myself a glass of wine. He's going to pour right up. I guess, no, I was just... Phone. It didn't, like, sound bad or anything. I was just surprised you were doing it, because I had stopped doing it, and then you were, like, kept doing it, and I was confused for a second. That's why I went, oh. 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 I thought maybe you were just, you know, a little bit intrigued and a little bit turned on. I mean, I was. Confusion always does that for me. Confusion boner. Confusion boner. Hey. That's what they used to call me in high school. Nice. Yeah. It was a sick, sick nickname. <laughs> <laughs> PJ, you were bullied a lot. Tell you us know, about that. <laughs> yeah. They used to call me Confusion Boner, which doesn't make sense as a nickname because it's, you know, like three syllables longer than my real name. And since that confused you, did that... In turn, turn you on? Oh, yeah. It was a vicious circle. Vicious as the day is long. <clears throat> well, I got something else to, to whine about. Yeah. If you guys uh, yeah. want to listen. Yeah, nice segue. Wouldn't you whine? We should have some intro music for this. Why don't you go and whine about something? Get some cheese for that wine, you little baby whine about crying. It. I liked it. Yeah, yeah. Thank let's, you. Let's leave that. Yeah. Let's. <laughs> just okay. already use that yeah, over and over again. So uh, I was at work the other day at my mm-hmm. barista job. So I was making coffee, and these two older women came in, and I think I might have told you about this. I don't know if I told you, Josh. Oh, you did tell me about this. And these these two older women came in, and they knew they knew the owner, and so they talked to the owner, who's another older woman, and they one of the ladies was like, "Oh, I'm going to I'm going to give you a hug, Ann, and you you're next." And I'm pretty new at this job, so she didn't know who I was, so I. I was like, oh, uh, of course she d- isn't going to give me a hug because she doesn't know who I am, and that'd be a really weird thing to do. Anyway, so she does it. She's like, oh, by the way, I'm Nora. And then I extend my hand in a handshake. She's like, no, nah, I'm going to give you a hug. She gave me a real close hug, and it was really weird. And I suddenly realized, I was like, this is what it's like to be a woman when there's a creepy man hitting on you. And I see why it's awful. I mean, I saw why it was awful before, but... Oh man, it's it sucks. Well, why don't you whine about it? And then play the theme song again. <laughs> okay. Why don't you go and whine about something? Get some cheese for that wine, you little baby about crying. It. Yeah. Um, no, that is super. Would it have been better if when you went for the handshake, she knocked it out of the way and said, "Put that thing away," and then gave you a hug? <laughs> Would that have been better? <laughs> well, I mean, of course. Yeah, but she didn't. She just did it. Just Do you think she hug. was like a little bit into you, like that lady who uh, at the Chinese restaurant cougar? that time? That it's, it felt like she was a little bit into me. And did you grab your butt? Because that's a for sure. Did you grab your? She the did pussy? not grab my butt. Did she grab you by the pussy? Yeah. You know what? She did look like Donald Trump in a wig. Well, Donald Trump looks like Donald Trump in a wig. Just a really <laughs> shitty wig. Well, Donald Trump just looks like a like a mole man in a wig. Ooh, I think it's time for a round of what does Donald Trump look like? Let's go to PJ. I think Donald Trump looks like a fat old mole man. I think Donald Trump looks like a melted creamsicle with some pubes on it. I think that Donald Trump looks kind of like in Yertle the Turtle when he's a turtle, except he doesn't have a shell and he's got bright orange hair and he's a lot fatter. I think Donald Trump looks like a human that melted, but it, like, you know, like when you have a Hershey's bar in your car and it melts, but it's still in the packaging, and then you like put it in the fridge in hopes that it'll be good when you open it again, and you open it back up, and it's like, just like we- the weirdest looking thing, like it was melted and now it's not anymore. That's what Donald Trump looks like. What a segment. Yeah. Wait, crazy. I got one more. Okay. I think Donald Trump looks kind of like Uncle Joey on Full House, but like way like like the shitty version <laughs> like the shitty version <laughs> yeah all right now now a time for what does hillary clinton look like a bitch right guys a woman she shouldn't have political power huh. end of that segment did you guys hear about that guy in russia who's like he's super pro trump not putin like it's a different guy i can't remember his name but he's like another russian like um politician and he's like he's like fairly high up and he he like is always talking about like how much he admires Donald Trump, and like he said at one point something like he wants to get like a DNA test to see if they're related because he just he'll say like inflammatory things like one thing he said recently was which is how I heard about him 
He said, like, um, I also grab women by the pussy. <laughs> he probably has said that, but what he said was, like, if the United States wants to avoid a nuclear war, then you, Come better, over to my house. you better elect Donald Trump. Oh. Yeah. Wow. So, and he's like, Hillary Clinton will no doubt start a third world war. And, by the way, he ended on this note. He's like, also, why are you even thinking of having a woman president? Men have been leaders for millions of years. It's just the way it should be. Do they know nothing about women being the leaders? I know, uh, I was like thinking the that. queen or Cleopatra for millions of years? I don't know. Like I said, this guy thinks he might be related to Donald Trump. So uh, if he... Does he also look like a bag of shit? Kind of. I didn't get a good look at him. I didn't really look at pictures of him. Oh, okay. There was like a thumbnail. Oh, I thought you said this guy in person. I thought you turned him around. Oh, like I got a good look at him. <laughs> Let me look at you for a while, hey, buddy. You. Yeah, I thought I know you. <laughs> you're, the, you're that, you're that Russian r- guy. <laughs> that Russian politician. You should have known because he was holding a nuke. Yeah. He's carrying it in both hands, just like. One of those, like, a, out, like straight out in front of him. <laughs> like he's moving boxes. Yeah. Like one of those big green trench coats. And then a big fur hat. A fur hat? Yeah, you know those big ones? Oh, okay. like a big Russian fur hat. Okay. Yeah, and he was on the phone with his babushka. What were they talking about? Does it look like I know? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I don't know. I didn't ask them. Oh, okay. No, he didn't want to be as invasive. Oh, yeah, that's rude. Because other people would be, yeah. Don't, don't interrupt someone talking to their grandma. That's rude. Babushka, please. Babushka. Hey, show me your babushka. I grab him by the babushka. (laughs) (laughs) Well, that word is ruined for me. (laughs) You know I always call my grandmother my babushka. My booby. A booby. Oh my gosh, is that where that comes from? I thought that was Jewish. Yeah, babushka babushka is also like a Jewish thing too. Is it? Okay. There's lots of Russian Jews. Yeah. You ever seen Fiddler on the Roof? You got nothing. I thought I was. You were. You ever seen Fiddler on the Roof? Uh, yeah, I did in music class. If I was a rich man. Title, deedle, 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 title, dum. Bop, bop. Mm hmm. It's a solid, mm-hmm. solid play. If I'm being honest, I wish this was a Fiddler on the Roof podcast right now. Yeah, there's nothing that says that it can't be. We, we could talk about um that the main guy whose name I forget. Tevya? Yeah. What about him? This is the only character I know. Okay, if you guys had like six daughters or whatever, how would you marry them off? Josh, let's start with you. Uh, I would just let them pick whoever. Uh-huh. You have to marry them off. Though. I have to yeah. marry them off. You're like, a what Russian would you Jew. do to get them married? They're not going to do it on their own. They're inside all day doing chores. Fake tits. Okay. Uh, yeah, I would probably do that. <laughs> That was a, that was a plus, joke. just I feel awful saying it. Uh, yeah, so they all have to get fake tits, and then uh, that way there'll be a lot of men, and then those men have to do a contest of strength. What kind of strength? Yeah, what would you? Uh, have they have to do that circus game where you hit the hit the the, with the hammer, yeah, the and then you have to make it ding. That's pretty much it. Oh. So would you take them to a fair, or do you have this? <laughs> no, I'm gonna <laughs> I'm gonna buy this machine. Oh, okay. I would just take them to a fair; it'd be much cheaper. Uh, I want. Have, I, I also just have want her the sit at the top. Well, I know? mean, to be fair, he's gonna have to do that six times. So that's that's a lot of trips to the fair. <laughs> that's true. The fair is just isn't do cheap. it all at once. And not only that, but the fair is only in the county for like you know two months out of the year, two months. if even two months. One. That's a long time. I feel like it's there for like three days and done. I don't know. Maybe a week. I'm never at the fair. I'm not a. Fair you know guy. what's weird? I've been to the fair in your hometown. I mean, I've been to the fair in my hometown too, just not recently. It wasn't great. And no, I don't, no I, fairs are great. I no don't, fairs are awful. I don't like fair. The food is good, and that's the only thing. The food's okay. The food. You ever you ever get some cheese curds at the fair? Because that shit's dope. I haven't, but I also don't want to spend fifteen dollars on like a box of cheese curds. Why were they coming in a box? I don't know because it's at the fair. They come on a little tray thing. Dummy. Whatever, man. I'm not going to spend fifteen dollars on a tray of cheese curds. Cheese curds are relatively cheap. It's like five bucks for a pretty big, uh, whatever thing. It's always expensive. I'm not going to pay for that. I bought Dippin' Dots at the fair one time, and that was just a waste of money. I used but to buy Dippin' Dots at the mall. I just wanted to I see what Dippin' Dots were all about, and I was really disappointed. It's the ice cream of the future. Oh, bullshit. You know what the ice cream of the future is? No. 
Is it Astro Night Ice Cream? I was asking you guys. I don't know. No, it's definitely Astro. Wait, well, ice I just cream. we just it's Dippin' Dots. I just said that. It's oh, Astro Night Ice Cream. I've never had that. Apparently, it's a pretty common thing. Freeze dried ice cream. I guess I don't know. I don't know. You ever had like fried ice cream at a Mexican restaurant? No, but I want to. Oh, it's really good. I had it one time. Did not care for it. Really? Yeah. Did, did you have it for like fresh? What do you mean oh, fresh? What? Well, did like you not... can like just re re like make it cold again and then eat it later. That just sounds like you're wasting. Oh no, it. I had it at the restaurant. Oh okay. Yeah. That just sounds like ice cream if you just. I mean, the... it is. That's okay. Which would explain why you didn't like it. Huh? How would you marry your six daughters off, Paul? Well, uh. I would probably get the bookish one. I'd have her hang out in the library. Um, the, they said the bookish one, and I was like, you know words I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> you know, the bookish one. Yeah, the bookish one. <laughs> no, the bookish one, the one who likes books yeah. and wears glasses. She's going to go to the library. I'll send the, uh, obviously, there's going to be one who really likes makeup. Send her to the makeup <laughs> store. And Yeah, if you show me boys at the makeup store. <laughs> yep. Hey, this is 2016. There's lots of boys at the makeup store. None of them want to marry a woman, Paul. What if they're looking for a beard? It, looking for a beard? <laughs> yeah. As if they just can't grow one on their own? No, like a beard, like a, like a, you know what a bearding is? No, uh, it's not like, it's like when you're like a gay man or a lesbian woman and you marry somebody so that people think that you're not gay. So they, like a, like and, a gay man oh. would marry a straight woman. Or maybe and, a lesbian. And one. that would be his beard. So then, like, if somebody says, are you gay? You can be like, no, no, no. I, uh, I've i got a wife. Yeah. Well, it's 2016. Why are you hiding the fact that you're gay? I'm not. I'm, they might be. Yeah. It's, it's 2016. I know. I don't know. I'm not them. I can't speak for oh, them. Maybe dating they're dating this podcast by saying it's 2016. I mean, the whole, the whole date next to it, when it yeah, release, it's probably uh, going to give it away, too. Give it away too. <laughs> no. Also, the fact that a theme song is, it's 2016, and we're three dudes hanging out. Drinking wine. Drinking wine. Wine about it. Do, do, do. <laughs> <laughs> you didn't mean to bump that on the microphone, did you? <laughs> I did. <laughs> um, Should fill up that glass a little bit more. That wasn't very much wine. You want to you wanna give me some? Oh, did you want more? Well, yeah, I have my. I have Sorry, my this wine bottle's almost out. Well, I'll just take the rest of it. Then. I don't want any more. I don't really like wine. I'm gonna go get something else to drink that's not wine. Maybe a cider, boys. Yeah. All right. Well, let's take a little break and uh, we'll come back. Uh, how long have we been going? Should we Should um, we call this for the first episode? We've been going 1,300 measures. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Josh, you got anything to plug? Um. Yeah, uh, I'd like to plug my website, uh, joshuatyra.com, where you can buy posters uh, and other sorts of art prints. Uh, and also my Instagram, which is at Joshua T, J O R S H U A T E E, where you can see all of the weird shit that I post. When you said T E E, it just sounded like you were laughing completely dully. Yeah. Anyway, visit my website, follow me on Instagram. You can also follow me on Twitter. I think it's the same name. Uh yeah, that's pretty much it. I just got to plug myself. I don't have anything else to plug. Paul, what about you? Um, I guess I'll plug. Uh, PJ and I have a band. Oh yeah, PJ and Paul and Mary. You can look us up on iTunes or on Spotify or really anywhere music is sold online. You probably just Google us, heaven. Yeah, uh, like us on Facebook, and uh, you can follow me on Twitter at Krang's Dumb Body, as in the Ninja Turtle character. Figure out how to spell it. He's not going to spell it for you. He's not yeah. your mom. No. You can look it up. Yeah. Because you're all adults. And if you're not an adult, you should not be listening to this filthy podcast. Well, you talked about putting peach rings on your cock. Sure did. I don't remember that. <laughs> doesn't doesn't come to mind. Anyway, PJ. Peachy J. Oh, don't, oh, gross. He touched my foot with his foot under the table. He's playing footsie. <laughs> there, Josh did. Well, I think I did it to Josh on accident. Yeah, don't do that to me. Yeah, you should talk to Paul about it. Um, Paul and I have a band, like I said. Did you say the name of our band? Sure did, but say it again. PJ, Paul, and Mary. We do comedy folk music. Um, And I don't really want strangers looking at my Instagram or my Twitter. No, my Twitter is just full of jokes. You can follow me on Twitter. I don't know what my at is. Uh, isn't it at PJM's wallet, or did you change it? Oh, uh, no, it's at PJM's wallet. <laughs> Jammed with a Z. With a Z. <laughs> Guess when I made that? Freshman year of high school. Nice. Didn't use it for 
probably six years. You were so fe- just you were just featured last on year. an episode of. Uh, oh, with special guest with special guest Little Lauren Napkiss. Napkiss. Yeah. yeah, I was at PJM's that. Willet. That's me. <laughs> yeah. Oh, all right. <laughs> this is like a Dr. Hibbert laugh. <laughs> <laughs> well, uh, I guess that wraps it up for uh, episode one of uh, yeah. Whining. Wow. We don't have a Twitter yet. We'll figure out a Twitter. Oh, I mean, we can make one in two minutes. Yeah, so. I know. We'll we'll go over that next episode what our twitter is and uh anyway thanks for listening and we'll see you next time goodbye bye